Hey guys, it is just after Christmas, uh, it's the 26th, and I got a lot of Lego sets for Christmas, and I'm going to be reviewing some of them, and this one that I have here is BD1 Droid, um, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna just build it and, uh, review it, so, yeah, let's get into it. So after a while, this VD1 droid is finally done and it looks fantastic. So just taking a look at the legs, um, it's really detailed. It actually reminds me of the ATST of the Mandalorian one. And uh, it's very detailed, although very sleek looking and simple at the same time. It looks very nice. The feet are also fairly detailed. I've got this little parts where um, you can clamp down, but then when you lift it up, it hangs loose like that. Uh, moving on to the uh, back area, we got some nice looking places. Uh, very nice looking here. Yeah, there's also some nice places on the top. It's really tiled off here. Looks very nice. And on the back of the head, you got some very nice little blue pieces. Uh, very good. The eyes are also very detailed in my opinion, and uh, they're definitely one of my favorite parts. On top of all of this, you also get a nice little stand. Put it in a light so you can see. Um, looks very nice. Whoops. So you get this very nice stand with a very nice BD1 droid and some nice detail. It's very sleek. UCS style reminds me of the R2D2 again. Alright, well, for the comparison between the uh, two droids that you guys know I have, well, first let's look at the plaque. So, you got the R2D2 plaque right there. Very, very nice, in my opinion. And then you've got the BD1 here. Uh, both are very good. Um, well, I might even like the BD1 better. Just because it doesn't have that little chunky thing right there. But, you know, still both very good. And then, if you look at the droids. So that's the RGG2 and that's the BD1. They are actually kind of similar in height, to be honest. I wasn't expecting such a close size difference, to be honest. Similar detailing of the legs and the, um, the bottom. Overall, um, BD1 is a very good Lego set and I think you should go and purchase it. It looks really sleek and just very nice in general. Especially with all the detailing. If you are a Fallen Order fan, you should definitely get this. Um, so yeah, it, it does have the, all the play features, but you know, it's got enough and it looks great on display. So I'm definitely going to keep this and uh, yeah, anyways, see you guys. I will be coming out with more reviews soon. I got a bunch of Lego sets for Christmas, um, including this, some of these, um, and then Starfighter, Fighter Tank, um, some Honda Forever set, and uh, the UCS ATAT. This is definitely what I'm most excited to be reviewing soon. I can't believe I got this. So, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. So, yeah, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.